Sometimes when you're working with weather pack connectors, they're a little difficult to get put back together. And getting a good, nice, tight seal will keep the water and dirt out of the connection. So I'm going to show you a little tip on how to make that a little bit easier. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're working with an idle air control valve, the ECU, fuel injectors, doesn't matter. Any weather pack connector under hood gets a lot of heat, and sometimes it gets some dirt and moisture that you have to contend with. And when you disconnect those connections, sometimes getting them back together is a little complicated, especially if that weather pack connector has swelled up a little bit. And there's one big issue in all of that, I guess, too, and that's, like I said, the dirt and water. And you've got to keep those connections clean. It's what any EFI system, fuel injection, doesn't matter what it is, it depends heavily on having a really good solid connection. And if you don't have that, it's a big issue. And I'm going to show you a little tip on how to get these back together a little bit easier, even if the seal is swollen up a little bit. Now, if you've got a can of silicone lubricant in your shop, it is a really good way to get those connections to seal back upright. Now, I'm going to spray a little test sample here on the sheet metal to show you how quickly it dries up. And that's the key to it is you want it to be a good lubricant, but you want to dry fairly quickly. Now, this brand that I use is very heavily sprayed. So you have to be a little careful about using it because it does apply a lot of material and a lot of spray onto an area and you don't need that. So I'm going to show you here on this connection on this idle air control valve to show you. If you spray that on there, it is a lot of spray that goes on there. Now make sure you wipe it on the seal very good and then wipe off all the excess and you will have no problem with this thing sliding back together and making a good positive seal and getting the seal seated into where it needs to go to make sure that water and dirt stays out of the connector. Now on the ECU, it's a little more complicated. I definitely would not use any spray, no matter how concentrated or how thin it comes out on this connection. You still have a seal in there, and in this case, spray a little on a rag, wipe it on there, and make sure you get it right on the seal so it does not get into the connection at all. That way you avoid any potential of problems with it. Now this fuel injector is fairly unique where the seal is buried way down into the connection. In that case, go ahead and spray a little bit on a rag and wipe it on the body of it so it will still allow the seal to slide onto the mating surface and allow it to connect positively. So there's a couple of different ways of doing it. It's just a matter of keeping the connection clean and getting the spray directly onto the seal. Now there are other types of connections that don't use it. If it's not a weather pack connection, don't use a silicone spray on it. Now let's take a quick look at that sheet metal to see how quickly it dried. After about 15 minutes of sitting there in a fairly warm garage today, it's completely dry and that's what you're looking for. A good silicone spray will dry within a reasonable amount of time and that connection will be together solidly lubricated a little bit but still sealed up and operating perfectly. If you have any questions on this one, don't hesitate to leave them down below. The big tip here is don't get it on the connection but it's okay to get it on the seal.